Now to growing fears about your children's safety when it comes to the darker corners of the Internet. The social media networks that increasingly dominate children's lives can be very dangerous for kids like Sammy Chapman, a 16-year-old boy from Los Angeles who was contacted by a drug dealer over Snapchat and died from a fentanyl overdose. Now a bipartisan group of lawmakers is proposing Sammy's law, which would mandate parental controls and protections for kids' online activities. We're joined now by Representative Buddy Carter, Republican of Georgia. Congressman Carter, thank you for joining us once again here on Centerpoint. Thank you for having me. Congressman, obviously, Sammy's death is tragic. How does Sammy's law prevent this from happening? Well, what this does is to, uh, is to allow parents to use third-party apps, independent third-party apps, that can help them monitor their children's activity on the internet. And now this is not spying, it's not invading anyone's privacy. It identifies keywords so that we can identify if there's a problem with cyberbullying, a problem with drug abuse, a problem with human trafficking, any of these things that, that parents need to know about. This is a tool in, in the tool chest that parents get to use. Back in October, Congressman, more than 30 states, including Georgia, your state, sued Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram, for what they called features that are harmful and addictive. Should companies like Meta be accountable? They make massive profits off these social media sites. Should they be held accountable? Absolutely, they should be held accountable. And, and this is the type of thing with Sammy's Law that, that we should be doing in Congress. Um, you know, look, we all believe in freedom of speech and in privacy and all this stuff, but we can't stop parents from parenting. And, and they need to have this, this opportunity. They need to have this tool in their tool chest, as I say, because this is going to give them the opportunity to monitor, monitor the activity of their children and, and, to, and to help and ward off this drug abuse. And in a case of Sammy Chapman, he, he took one pill and he's dead. That should not happen. If this can save one life, it's worth it. Okay, Congressman, you said that these companies should be held accountable. What about secondary schools? Because we all know that kids are tech savvy. They can get around parental controls. Let me uh, show you some research here done online. 97% of kids aged 11 to 17 say that they use their phones during school hours. Should education, secondary schools, be responsible and accountable as well? No question about it. Uh, look, we all have a responsibility here to our children. We're talking about our children, the future of our country. And, and to ignore this and, and, and to just let this go by without doing anything is irresponsible. And we cannot be irresponsible when it comes to our children. So, yes, the secondary schools should be held accountable here. We've been talking a lot, probably the last year and a half, about banning apps like TikTok. Is that ever going to happen, or is that severe, or is there even something more severe th than that? Well, TikTok is severe. There's no question about that. TikTok is owned by the Chinese Communist Party. The intent of the Chinese Communist Party with TikTok is to create division and, and separation and chaos here in America. That's why I have sent a letter, and that's why um, 23 of my colleagues have signed on to that letter here in Congress, uh, demanding that TikTok take some of the anti-Semitic um, uh, content off of their uh, off of their platforms. And I do think that TikTok should be banned here in the United States. We should not have an app that's owned by the Chinese Communist Party allowed here in the United States of America. All right, Congressman Buddy Carter, we appreciate you joining us here on Centerpoint. Please come back and update us as this progresses. We will. And when we come back, we'll hear from TBN's own Pastor D on what more should be done to keep our children safe on college campuses.